Hey everyone, Brad here. Today I want to talk about a relatively new feature uh, for Android applications and how to use this feature in your native script app. It's very simple and truly really powerful. The feature is called Custom Tabs. And now what this is, is it allows you to control a Google Chrome window as opposed to using your standard web view to show your user some external content. So you can control the color of the toolbar, you can add options into the overflow menu. Um, it, it's really nice and it just kind of animates in. You can actually set the enter and exit animations if you want. Uh, but today we're going to keep it really simple, just kind of give you a brief overview of how to add it. Um, I'll have a blog post later to follow this, kind of detailing uh, some more of the, you know, advanced options. Um, so let's dive on in. So I've got a blank native script app from the TNS create command. Uh, I've added the Android platform so we just need to go into app, app resources, Android and open the app Gradle and I'm going to go ahead and copy in the library. Now you can get this library from your SDK manager. You should already have the support library. Uh, just go ahead and update it. Google has been doing some updates lately. Right now I think it, it is version 23.2.1 so go ahead and have that, but you'll see it's just com.android.support custom tabs. So now that we've added that to our Gradle file, we'll save that. Let's go on and get into our code. Main page XML. Let's go ahead and call this open Chrome tabs. We'll copy that, go to our JavaScript, and I'm just going to go ahead and paste in the function that I have because I know it works. I do need to add two native script modules here, the color so I can set the toolbar color and the app location model so I can pass in an activity to the method required to launch the URL. So right here we just have a string for the URL, that's my blog site, um, and then we just call the builder for custom tabs, uh, set the color, show the title, get the intent, the build method will return the intent and then with that you just launch URL like I said pass in an activity and then the parsed URL. This could be a little cleaner but for demo sake it, it works so we'll save this so now we have our, our click function on our XML, we have the function in our JavaScript and we have the dependency added so we'll go ahead and build this um, normally, I've went ahead and built it, uh, I've already ran it, I have it installed, but I'm going to go ahead and live sync it just to see how this works. So it should just kind of take off from here uh, once the application opens up. Uh, this is my phone, I have it connected using Visor, it's a Chrome extension, so it should just work. There we go. Okay, so with the application open, when we click this button, it should open up Chrome, but showing my blog and kind of branded the way I want it to look. So see how fluid this goes and look at that nice animation in title shows everything's there I mean it it's nice it gives you gives you you know a leg up on using your standard um, web view and right there you can see it's powered by Chrome it's a great feature so you can close it and you're you're still in your application you never actually launched a Google Chrome so the user has a more seamless experience so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you guys give it a try. If you have any questions, um, let me know. Uh, I plan to go in a little bit more detail in my blog post, so uh, check me out there at bradmartin.net. Uh, follow me on Twitter for some nice native script tips. Um, that's it. Have a good one.